I want to talk about how and why I joined a running club. So <clears throat> I lost a lot of weight and uh, in order to lose weight, I got on top of my physical activity. I couldn't run well and without hurting myself until I lost quite a lot. But once I lost enough, and my weight got to a certain BMI level and uh, my body fat levels got low enough, then uh, running really lost all of the downsides. And uh, now, today, um, my body fat percentage is below 18%. It's like it's 16% right now, although I did gain probably a pound this last weekend through a party for my friends, baked a bunch of homemade cinnamon rolls and bacon. Ugh. Anyway, um, I like to run a lot now, uh, but you know, we're social creatures, humans. And uh, even if you're not social, like even if you're antisocial, you don't like people, you might wanna be really good at whatever it is you're doing. Now I'm gonna be talking about running, I'm talking about running right now, but any activity that you do, there's probably other people that do it. And if there's other people that do it, then they're probably better than you. And even if they're not better than you, they might be doing part of it better than you. And let's say that somehow you're the best in the world at whatever it is that you want to do or you're doing. And no one's better than you and you're just the best in every possible way. Maybe you just want to share your passion for whatever it is you're doing, like knitting or make painting figurines or running, which is what I'm talking about right now. Whether you're learning from others or they're learning from you, it's nice to socialize and have people in your life. And if you're like most people, if you're like me, and you're not the best, and you do have a lot to learn from others, then if you come into contact with others, you're gonna learn. Well, again, whether it's about painting figurines or knitting or running or bicycling or writing software or liberal arts, philosophy, creative story writing. I mean, take literally any hobby or interest or pastime or sport, you're going to benefit from associating with other people that share that pastime. So to get back on topic, uh, I was running a lot. I still run a lot. Um, and I thought, you know what? I want, I want to join a club. I want to, I want to, I want to run. I want to meet people that also run. I want people to run with. I want to see how far I can push myself. I want to see what I'm doing that could be done better. How can I improve? You know, uh, I want people that, that can teach me. I want to get really good at this. And I know that in order to, I knew that in order to take it to the next level, in order to get really good at it, the fastest way to success was by enlisting the help of others. You can learn anything on the internet. You can learn anything by going to your local library and opening up the right book, you know? but it's gonna take more time to learn it yourself than if you have helpful people in your life that proactively point things out you haven't even considered yet so that you don't even make certain mistakes. It's really helpful to have people in your life that do whatever it is you're doing and that can guide you. And you'll also guide them. They'll be doing things that you can help out with, that you can spot mistakes and point in the right direction. Again, the, the benefits for social contact just being in a club, having other people to share a hobby with are just immense. Uh, I feel like I should stop harping on this point. You should know this. Uh, but so I wanted to join a running club. Uh, I didn't immediately want to join a running club. I just thought, you know, it'd be nice to have other people to run with. I didn't instantly think running club. I just thought it'd be nice if I could run with people. So I started hitting up my friends. And of course, none of them wanted to run. They don't really run. It's not their thing. Uh, hit up family, same same story. So I thought, okay, I want to run with people. I, I, running by myself is fine, but I want to run with people. And I've exhausted my like closest circles of people, my friends and family, and I haven't found, I haven't found people that want to like satisfy the uh, the 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 goal or whatever that I have, which is to run with people occasionally when I want to. What next? 
What do you do when the people that you know aren't doing it for you? Know new people, right? Get to know new people. So I started thinking, okay, how can I meet runners, right? Uh, and that one was pretty easy for me because I've already been, uh, I've already used meetup.com successfully for quite a few things like software and mountain biking and unicycling, and Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so I've already used like that online website to, to find groups of people that share like a hobby or interest. Uh, so I went to meetup, but for running, it kind of sucked for whatever reason. Uh, <laughs> um, and so I thought, okay, what else is there besides meetup.com? Well, there's literally Google. So I went to Google and I typed in like running clubs near me, running near me, uh, races near me. And eventually I did find 10 or 20 websites for random odd clubs that are within 20 or 30 miles for runners. Trail runners, race runners, long distance runners, sprinters, this age range, that age range. And it took a while, but I was able to narrow it down to a, like a few clubs. So I emailed them, I found their contact information, uh, got their email addresses, and I sent emails to the clubs. And I started talking to some of the coaches. And most of them said like, yeah, we're for more experienced runners. We do like this kind of running and whatever running it was, it was too much for me because I'm, I'm an amateur, I'm a beginner. But I did find like one or two clubs that seemed like the type of running that they usually do is the type of running I can do and want to do. And so eventually I was able to find one or two clubs that I basically put on my short list to try to show up at their practice and, and, and do. Um, and then, and then uh, when I was, in addition to that, I also thought, you know what? Uh, I, I, I participate in this race every year, the War for Worf race it's in Santa Cruz. Anyone can participate. You just, really all you have to do is you just have to know that it exists and then go to the website and sign up. If you don't, if you're not, if you don't know that the race exists, you're not going to sign up for it. So you either have to know someone who invites you or like just find out somehow that the race exists and then you just go sign up. But I thought, hey, you know what? I bet there's a lot of things like that. And sure enough, there's a ton. There's a lot of races for running every, every week. And I didn't know this, but I went online and I found websites that, uh, they have schedules and calendars of running races that are happening across the country all the time. Big aggregated calendars. And you can, for the most part, you can sign up for any of these. All you gotta do is show up, bring your feet and show up. And again, this is running, but you can do the same thing for any hobby or sport. You can eventually find communities and places that aggregate community events. Like, let's take anime conventions, for example. I haven't found it, but I'm sure there is, I'm pretty sure there are some websites that just keep track of conventions in general. And so if you wanted to just be that person that's at every, at every convention, you could go find those websites that have the calendars for all the different conventions, all aggregated into one calendar, and you could just start picking out conventions you wanna to go to, which is actually a plan I wanna start doing. I wanna start going to conventions because uh, it sounds like fun, you know? You gotta be proactive though. You have to be proactive and you have to use your brain and you have to use time. It takes time to think through all this, do all the searching, finding all the resources, literally even finding out how to find the resources takes time. So I see a lot of people on the internet, like on anonymous forums, and they say, oh, you know, how do you find people to do whatever? I wish I had people to do whatever with. How do you all find clubs or events or whatever and just do everything I talked about in this video. Go look for those aggregated calendars. Go look for those local clubs. Go look for those websites for those clubs and those calendars. Um, for the running club that I'm in now, I actually ran into them uh, while I was out doing a walk. So I just walked up and acted like I belonged. And when they broke for stretches, I walked up to the coach and introduced myself with a smile. I said, hi, I'm so-and-so. I'm looking for a running club. And they said, email us, and I did. Now I'm in the club. If you wanna be in a club, if you wanna join a group, all you need to do is use your head and actually put in the work. I wanted to run with people for months but I never really took the time to put in the work. 
I just kept thinking it would be nice if I could run with people. It'd be nice if I could play Magic the Gathering with people. It'd be nice if I could play D&D with people. It'd be nice if I could go to conventions. I have all these thoughts. It would be nice to do this and that. It's one thing to think that it would be nice to do it and like to say that you want to do it and to actually want to do it. It's another to actually take the time out of your day to just go on the internet or go out in public and just use your head and be a little detective and figure it out. Like, let's say I wanted to get into comic books right now. I don't really know much about comic books, but I know where my local comic book shop is. You know what I would do? I would go to my local comic book shop and I would literally just talk to everyone in the comic book shop. I guarantee you I would get some leads. Take those leads, go from there. Before you know it, you, you're, you know everything. You're networked. Um, back on topic for running clubs. In addition to meetup.com and in addition to going on Google, I would highly recommend installing the app Strava. I've been using Strava for four or five years and I love it. It's a great app. And Strava has like a social networking feature. It's basically like a social network for athletes, which honestly, I would love to just associate with athletes. Athletes, in my opinion, are some of the best people around. Pretty much every athlete I've met is happy and outgoing and just cheerful. You, you just, you wanna be surrounded by people like that. And I try to be a person like that because I wanna raise people up that are around me. And I've noticed that when I hang out with athletes, they raise me up, you know? So anyway, social networking for athletes, Strava, they have clubs and groups. You can go and type in like clubs and groups near me on Strava, and put in your area code and it'll just show you clubs and groups. You can filter by whatever activity it is. Do you run? Do you play hockey? Do you play volleyball? Do you mountain bike, road bike, uh, swim? You know, you can filter by those activities on Strava or literally on Google, but we're talking about Strava and you can find clubs and groups and things on there. And then you can just start talking to people, leave comments on their runs. Hey, that's cool. Want to do that together sometime? Oh, hey, you're their club. Can I come to the practice, the next practice? You just have to be a little outgoing. You know, if you're afraid of exposing yourself or looking stupid or you're shy or whatever just think about how hard just think about how much you want to be in a club or do whatever it is that you want to do with other people just think about how hard you want that and let that push you over your shyness and your fear and your inhibitions and make that reach out that hand to shake with somebody and make that connection you make, you do this enough times, you make enough connections and a whole, a whole pathways in life are just going to open themselves up to you. People that know how to network, people that know how to be proactive, reach out the hand and uh, make that first conversation, make that introduction, uh, break the ice. People who have that skill, I would say it's a skill, but people who can do that, I think they're going to lead fuller, uh, more successful happier lives than people who don't so if you've been thinking about finding people to do your hobby with if you've been thinking about finding a running club or finding a group to paint dungeons and dragons figurines with or knitting or whatever be that person be that person who reaches who finds people who finds those clubs finds those groups finds those locals be that person who reaches out Maybe you'll find a club that already exists. Maybe you'll make a club. Maybe you'll be that person who starts the club. But at the end of the day, either way, you're gonna have people in your life that are doing whatever it is that you're doing and you're gonna learn from them and they're gonna learn from you. And maybe you don't want more friends, but I think more friends never hurts. And maybe you'll make some friends. Uh, so yeah, that's the video, uh, how to find clubs near you, uh, be proactive, Actually, it's more than just saying you want it. It's actually going out, taking the time to put on a little detective, detective hat and do some sleuthing. Use every resource at your advantage. You've got the best search engine in the world, Google. Go on Google, type in this activity near me, clubs near me, clubs in this area code. Do you live in like the Pensacola County in Washington? Then, you know, like knitting clubs Pensacola County. 
Washington. Just do a search, see what you find. Maybe you'll find nothing, maybe you'll find something. And if you find something, all you gotta do is reach out. Hi, my name is so-and-so, I like this hobby and would like to show up at the event or participate in the next race or do it or whatever. Just reach out that hand, introduce yourself with a smile, show up and before you know it, you can be doing all the things that you say you wanna do but you haven't actually gone out and done.